Hello and welcome back to another video. So the very first video that I ever made for YouTube was about how to install Visual Web Developer uh, 2010 Express. Now I've had to install it lately for another PC and I noticed the installation has changed quite a bit. So I thought I'd make a quick update video on how to do that as I get quite a few hits on that original video. So again what you want to do if you open up your web browser and then if you go to uh, www.microsoft.com forward slash express forward slash downloads uh, there'll be a link in the description to it and then it'll bring you to this page here so if you just come down the page slightly you want the option here where it says visual web developer 2010 express if we click on that and then click on install Okay, so it brings us to this page here, and it, like I said, it's quite different from the original installation uh, that I first posted about eight months ago. So all we have to do is click on this Install Now button, big green button. Okay, so it's going to ask us where do we want to save the file. We'll just save it. I'll just save mine to the desktop. And if I just run the installation. Okay, so that's just downloading the web platform insta installer files. So as you can see here we've got the uh, web platform installer just going through the motion so wait for this to complete. Okay then so this is going to install Visual Web Developer uh, Express 2010 with Service Pack 1. Uh, so literally all we have to do is click on install and then these are some of the uh, things that are going to get installed. So obviously Visual Web Developer 2010 Express, uh, Microsoft.NET Framework 4, SQL Server Express 2008 R2 uh, the list goes on you can have a look at those if you like but we're just going to click accept and then we've got two options here um, we've detected that you are installing uh, SQL Server Express um, so we've got two options we can use Windows Integrated Authentication or we can use uh, Mixed Mode we'll just use Windows Authentication so the user account you log in with and then click continue and then that's now going to go through the motions of installing the application as I was saying earlier, I installed it on a PC, which did take quite a long time. Um, so if you look where the mouse is, it actually says stage 1 out of 20. So there's quite a few steps to go through. Uh, and when I installed it earlier, I had to reboot twice uh, throughout the installation. And it then started the installation once it came back into Windows. So it's just a waiting game, really. I think in all, it took about half an hour. So what I'll do, I'll pause the video here. Uh, and once it's finished installing, I'll come back. Okay, so after a couple of reboots, Visual Web Developer 2010 will be installed. So to open it up, just click on Start, All Programs, and find Visual Web Developer in the list. And then once it opens up, you'll get this screen here. Um, so the next thing you need to do is, Visual Web Developer is a free application, but out of the box, it doesn't have a product key installed. So the way to, to sort this out, if you click on Help, and then go to Register Product, and it's now going to ask you for a registration key now obviously we don't have a key so we need to get one from Microsoft so you click on obtain a registration key so to actually get the registration key from Microsoft for free uh, you have to have a Windows Live ID account so I'm going to log in with my account now and then just click on sign in and then once you've signed in just fill in the information below and then as you go down the list you should come to the very end and all you have to do is click on continue and then you'll see that the product key is displayed on the page so all you have to do is literally copy the the product key and if we just minimize this and then paste it into the registration key field and click on register now and now we've got a fully licensed uh, working copy of Visual Web Developer 2010 Express so just to give you a quick overview of Visual Web Developer, uh, as you can see here we have like a welcome screen. So we can click on a few links here, getting started with ASP.NET um, and web hosting and whatnot. Uh, if you look over here on the left hand side we've got new project, open project and new website and open website. So for example let's just say we want to create a new website, we click on this button here and then we get a few options of what we can do we can create an ASP.NET uh, website which is like a template or we can create an ASP.NET empty website um, so if we just click on the first one which will give us uh, like a template with a few files already created 
on the left hand side here we've got the programming languages so Visual Basic and Visual C Sharp uh, I usually use Visual C Sharp and then at the bottom here it asks where do we want to save it so I'm just going to save it in the default location which is inside of your My Documents uh, folder and click on OK okay so once it's opened up you can now see here on the right hand side in the solution explorer it shows you all of the files inside of your project so as I said this is like a template which creates files for you to start with so it creates you like the de a default page an about page a, a style sheets folder and whatnot um, and it opens up in the default page um, when you first open that website and um, so in the moment we're in the source view but if we click on design it then shows us the website in the graphical view and as you can see here it's got a couple of menu items uh, like a title uh, it's got a login button over here so if you look here on the left hand side there's an option that says toolbox so if you just click on the word and then this new um, menu pops out um, so if you click on the little pin symbol at the top that will now pin it to the side which will always be there so these are some of the standard uh, controls that we use inside of our ASP.NET websites uh, so for example we can have check boxes, uh, drop down lists, we can add in images, all that sort of thing uh, and then when we get into the, the database side of it we've then got other sort of controls down here uh, so for example for, lo for login controls we've got a login here, we've got a change password control uh, create a new user wizard uh, so all these things we'll be using in the upcoming episodes so this was just a quick overview of how to install Visual Web Developer um, and just the basic layout of the actual program so thanks for watching please leave any comments below and I'll catch you later